it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Happy 4th of July for all of my American friends out there, or as it's called in England, Strategic Withdrawal Day. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to see some fireworks, fellas. We're going to see some fireworks here. We have got several good replays from Leaf Fan lately in terms of light tanks. Interesting, some big assist games with the RHM PZW. This is his biggest yet. But we're also going to see some fireworks. I'm looking forward to this. I'm not going to give it away yet, but we'll know fairly soon how this happens. Notice this is an all tier 10 battle, one scout on each side, no artillery. And uh, he is platooned with Clifford, the big red dog, I believe is the name, and Gun, Gunkle Kirk, all from Clan Psy, a Concept 5, a Lion, and an RHM. Lots of TDs with big guns. All right, off we go. Take it away, Lee Fan. Redshire Dwarf, my friends. Himmel's Redshire Dwarf. I believe he's showed a couple great games on Redshire. I recently, I think, had one showing some pretty good assists, but it's not necessarily... It is one of the, I would say, good, not great light tank maps, so I would I would call this one good, not great. This is a fairly standard start right here, right into the bush. We're going to catch an FV out, and we're going to actually shoot that guy and then bail. That should get us lit did not wow okay the enemy has an rhm so at least it's not a mana core however lee fan has shown an ability to deal with other mana cores and we've talked about that a lot on scout week turn to scout month that uh, you just have to play your scout well right and a mana core isn't magic necessarily it's not an auto win just because one side has a mana core and one side has an rhm it's how you play it it's where you go it's how you position how you react all that good stuff so so far Fireworks! <laughs> it's too bad we didn't have a huge giant explosion, but we did just have the FV, the Death Star, just one shot, a Sturv 103B, so we have deleted one tank with one shot. That is highly efficient shooting, my friends. Highly efficient. I told you we were going to have fireworks, and that probably just gave it away on how this happened. And you just, you just have to believe that maybe that FV reloads in time to get this guy. Is he really going to sit there? Are we about to see an FV on ship barn violence? Oh, he's, he's, nope, he's coming back. He doesn't know he is. He doesn't know he's still spotted. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, okay. No, nope, he didn't quite get there. So the uh, now we got a little bit out of it. We got a little bit out of it. Maybe this will be the rest of it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> One thousand four hundred and eight on that shot. Two kills. To the shit barn. 3,650 assists and two tanks pretty much deleted. Do we have another customer here? We have another customer. This guy's just like, yeah, shoot me too. And that's a long reload for the FV. But hey, check it out. We also have a 4,005 ship barn on our side. Where is he? Well, he's a little too far, isn't he? He's back in the sniper position. All right, take it away. I think you already know where this, the uh, fireworks are coming from, but the grill doesn't want any of that. He doesn't want any of that smoke. He's backing out. Where is their RHM? Huh. That is very interesting. Maybe up on the bush up there, perhaps? Oh, we found their FV. He backs out. Leopard's moving up. A lot of times when you have a big game, a leopard explodes. Let's see what happens. I wonder if the, uh, if the FV nukes him on the other side. The FV ends up with a lot of damage on not very many shots. We see the grill again. They have two, it appears. Still 3,650. Lee Fan moves up into the top edge. The nice thing about this position right here, guys, just to talk a little tactics for a second, although we're oopsie. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe he's still too covered. It's hard to tell where the hitbox of all this is, but that feels like you're a little far forward. That bush or right chair is a place that they can be. The enemy RHM could surf this ridge and maybe even top a little bit. And a lot of times they will get you in proxy lighting. Or even if you're down here, they might have enough burn through to see you. CVS action kind of thing. So that is one of the dangers of this spot. I don't think their RHM has been spotted. He has not. So he's not doing his team any favors. What's There he is. Found him. And see the next customer for deletion? We have 3,650 assist, fellas. That's all the action that's happened so far. Nothing good is happening on the west side of the map, guys. Uh-oh. 
Oh no. Boo. <laughs> that shot seemed like it came from that way. That might have been the other. Oh no, the FV moved. I did not notice. He repositioned. So Ho Fish just took another giant chunk. I didn't see exactly the damage. He didn't one shot him. But uh, between the two guys that did shoot him, we've just. <laughs> Fireworks, guys. Fireworks. Absolutely amazing. We're at 5,450 assist. You know, I'm probably going to have a video on this. I don't know if it'll be... I'm on vacation right now while you're watching this. I don't know if it'll get into the vacation videos that I've built up because it's I haven't made the video yet. But sometime fairly soon, we're going to talk a little bit of just about how random the game is. We just got lit by the guy. I think you were poking out of the, uh, the bush a little bit there. Lee fan, to be honest. Kind of surprised he actually saw you right there if you weren't poking out. How random this game is in a lot of cases in terms of dispersion, RNG, all that stuff. It, it is very possible that every one of those FE shots could have just missed. Right? Or hit a weird angle and bounced. But they all hit, they all high rolled really nicely. Of course, those were very soft targets. So not a huge surprise right there. The side of the stirb is very soft. A grill is soft. An FV is very soft. So not surprising in terms of that. But there's a lot of different little things that can go wrong in this game. And so that video might be coming up at some point. Maybe I should add this, showing that sometimes the rolls just happen in your favor as well. But, oh, people are shooting at Leaf Fan. Okay, so now we're on the move. So he has switched from... Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, Mr. STV, hold up. We're going to go back because I want to look backwards. I think that's a one shot. That's one more shot of damage. I believe our FV friend, Hofish, is over here in that spot. And he's just waiting for something like this. Let's see what kind of damage goes in to him. There he is. We get shot at. We light the STB who's just barely peeking over. He's going to come back maybe. Oh, yep. One shot. 1,703. <laughs> A little slide right there, 180 in celebration to another 1,703 assist, my friends. We're at 7,153, and we're not even done. I told you this was his best game, in terms of what he sent me anyway. He did say it was his high assist game. And he has caused all that, fellas. Those four kills were caused by him. Oh, I may, the, may, the leopard may have been killed by somebody else. I don't remember how many different things we've had annihilated by the FV. Maybe the leopard was killed by other people. We do take a, sh a shot from the STB's low hit points. Oh, he's still coming after us. Whoa! <laughs> oh, dang it. Eating a few shots there, that's a... I don't know... Mm, I don't know if that run was wise, to be honest, with all the crossfire. But you were getting great results. We now have 8,004. I missed that. The 1105 ate 381 from somebody, and the STB... I'm sorry, that's uh, that's us getting hit. Never mind. Where did we get the extra damage? Oh, the 113. Two guys hit the 113. But what the hell is that guy? Oh, he's over there. So we lit the guy in the castle somehow. Somehow being we had line of sight and saw him. Five to one. 8,000 assists from Lee Fan in the RHM. And honestly, this whole thing is basically his doing. Finishes off the STB, which is a problem. The other RHM nukes us for 414. We try to get away. Uh, HE is pretty strong on the RHM. Nicely done. Finish off the scout, and it's just going to get uglier from here, fellas. No more scout. There's another STB right there. We're up to 8,855 assists. At least that is showing on the list here. I'm going to kill him as he goes by. Yes. <laughs> Nicely done that. We, had, we shot APCR to do that. If it was the heat round, which Guido tends to press 2 and just shoot, we wouldn't have gone through the rock wall and killed him. I didn't see if it actually did go through the rock wall, but the rock wall will stop the heat considerably anyway. But the APCR will not be as affected by the rock wall. So nicely done there. Oh, we find the other STB hanging out here. Uh, he didn't even spot us. That's another 500 or 600. We're up to 8,800. Kill shot. Get to, get, ooh. Nah, we'll just do it with assist. Nearly 9,000 assists. We're not even done. Look at all the hit points that are left, guys. We still have a couple of these big TD. Whoa, that probably have all, most of their hit points. 
Look at that. Spotting the 125 across the freaking map. Now, one thing about this tank with this setup, it has an amazing amount of burn through and spotting distance. Remember, 445 is the max you can go anyway. Everything past that is going to be, and that's that circle, the white circle. It's actually a white and green circle, but they're on top of each other. Yellow circle is max draw distance at 500, but 445 is your max spotting distance. Anything you have over that, though, is burn through. So any camo somebody has is lessened by the burn through at the distance. And casually while I'm talking, I'm going to finish him off. I mean, honestly, if you were looking at that and you were going, hey, let's uh, let's maximize assist, you, you wouldn't even have shot that. You, just, you know what I mean? I mean, who cares? It's, it's combined that is probably the most impressive piece of all of this put together. We're at 10,719, guys. We've gone over 10 grand on Westfield, Redshire, sorry, Redshire, and just an absolute master class. I, really, the only big mistake I would, I thought anyway, was that one run, but that's where you got another big chunk out of the STB, so there you go. Now we have a full hit point grill, and we just get all of the damage. Oh, we end up killing them anyway. Why not? 12,000 assist, fellas. Fireworks, man. The FV had something like seven grand and some change on six shots. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. We ended up with four kills out of that, which is pretty impressive on only 1,300 damage. But getting in there and getting the last shot on guys and finishing them off, a combined 13,000, might even be a little bit more. I don't remember what the card said. Sometimes there's some extra damage on those based on the way they do the assist. And if guys go dark soon enough, yada, yada. Sometimes it doesn't all get counted in game, and you will see it on the card as a little bit extra. Leaf, thanks for sending that in. Absolute master class, and you got to love that. The other thing about this tank is it's mobile as hell, which is nice. Got pretty good gun depression. It's got a nice little gun. Its heat round is pretty impressive. It Honestly, other than it being pretty large and its camel being not quite as good as most of the, the light tanks at Tier 10 just based on its size, it's still in the ballpark good camo it also keeps its camo moving like all light tanks do and like i was talking about it's burn through slash vision is absolutely amazing and he's got this thing set up to see I, it's over 500 or something i think something crazy 540 i think he said that might be uh, overestimating a little bit i don't remember but it's a lot initially passive getting some great work out of that going active and just completely harassing the enemy tanks and that fv just fed off of Lee Fan. I'm sure Lee Fan was noticing that and where guys were spotted because he's pretty damn good at the light tanks. And that is some serious fireworks, my friends, for the 4th of July. So have a great 4th. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Enjoy the beach, mountain, plains, whatever it is that you're doing. Get togethers, barbecues, movies, fireworks, all that stuff. Uh, I will be back on the 6th of July and we will see you sometime after that. That's all I've got. Signing out on the 4th of July. See ya.